lilies and how they would go beautifully with these hummingbird mint plants. These are fragrant. They're super colorful. And Kelly was telling me they are really hand picked to give you the best. That's right. You know, that's the thing. Yeah, you can go to your local whatever, you know, and get your plants. But do you know that they're the best? You know, when it's cottage farms, they're breeding these flowers to give you better results every time. Right. And or even if there's lots of different varieties, we're bringing you the best varieties. That's right? absolutely right. We're curators, so, right? We're, yeah. we're putting the pieces together to make gardening easy for you. That's one of the yeah. things I love about working for cottage farms. I mean, I'm a, I'm a professional curator. I run a botanical garden. But to get to be able to find the best genetics that yeah. we can bring to you to really guarantee your success as a gardener is, is just what really motivates us. That's yeah. why we're here. That's what we're so doing this So what is a mint plant? Well, so this hummingbird mint, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick off a piece oh, yeah. here. I love you just a, mint. You can smell it already. Oh, it smells so, so good. So it actually really has almost this, this licorice kind of smell, yeah. right? So hummingbird mint, it is in the mint family, but one of the great things about that scent is deer don't like it. Yes. So while we like it and it's fun to brush up against, <laughs> deer don't. So that's the first thing that's you need to know really about hummingbird good. mints is that they're not going to get nibbled on by deer or rabbits. Uh -huh. But in fact, our friends, the hummingbirds, the butterflies, and the bees yeah. love this plant. These are very wow. nectar rich flowers that are super valuable for pollinators, which we hear a lot about and for good reason today. Mm -hmm. uh, and just great colors, summer, uh, all summer long, uh, just a really beautiful perennial here. So you're getting all three. Tell me about the varieties. You bet. We've got three colors we've picked out uh, from a great breeder we work with. Uh, really excited to bring those to you here today. Uh, starting on the orange down there, that's yeah. Paquito Orange. We have Ooh. Morello, which is the raspberry color here beautiful. in the middle. Beautiful combination, almost tonal. Mm -hmm and sunset uh, in that way. And then here on the end, we have the Paquito Butter Yellow. And let me tell you, this yellow is really an industry game changer. This is, this is just outstanding genetics, a, a new color break. And look at the density of flowers. There's just a bajillion flowers in there, right alongside <laughs> the so cone true. flowers we've talked about. And we've got more coming up earlier. There's the Morello. That's that raspberry colored flower. And, and the scent on these things is that sort of minty, licorice-y scent. Yeah. The nectar in these flowers for the pollinators is incredible. That's butter yellow right there, that novel new color break. We're just, we just love these plants. Plants. They play so well with other perennials in full sun, and they're going to flower all summer long. So you, these do like full sun. Yes, indeed. Yes, okay. indeed. They like and hot, in pretty much baking any conditions. part of the country. Yeah, the yeah. This part. is hardy to about you know zone four is what we're, we're saying on, on these varieties. Okay. Well drained soil is really important. They do like drainage. So along okay. a sidewalk or uh, you know any place where they're going to get good drainage, full sun, they can uh -huh. take the heat. Uh, they're going to do great. And drought tolerant. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. That is one of the things about. Uh, hummingbird mints in general is that once established, they, they are in yeah. fact pretty drought tolerant. Uh, and that's a nice benefit too, because in parts of the country like, you know, the Rocky Mountains and, mm -hmm. and the Intermountain West, uh, where a lot of these are, are native to, they really make very good resilient planting choices. Yeah, that's a great idea. I want to show, have you show us what it comes like. You bet. And you've got even a kind of like a midway, what it's going to look like. I tell you what, like. I'm going to give you, that's the mm. ship sample. So that when, you know, yeah. Mary Beth opens up the box on day one, that's what she's going to see. But by the end of the first growing season, this is the step up. I mean, this wow. is what this is really going to grow from here. Yeah. All the way over to what I'm holding here in my hand. This, this, I mean, right. it's four times the size all of a sudden now. Right. These are perennials, but they kind of behave like annuals, right? Just like you were talking about your husband. You, you plant annuals because they, they just churn out the flowers. Yeah. This is a perennial that's bred to churn out the flowers. It's going to wow. flower all summer long, and it's going to be able to do that because it's this vigorous. It's, it's growing this fast See, and putting on all these buds to be able to deliver these flowers. Right. And like you say, sometimes you'll get flowers in the first season. Oh, Most for sure. Of the time, Abs uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, you will get flowers in the first know. season. Uh, on but these. it's going to be even bigger and better the second absolutely. season. Absolutely. And that's what we're representing here that what yeah. we're, we're panning across right now is really that kind of model of what that second and third year looks like uh, for these hummingbird mint plants. By the way, there's not a lot of these to go around. It's brand new today. You're getting this home for three payments of $9.29. Uh, it will come with the uh, easy to grow you kind bet. of 
um, guard, what do you call these, the garden Oh, these guide are our care whatever. guides, yeah. And, yeah. and they have all the tips, the tricks, the insights that we share with you here on air. Right. Uh, because again, our passion is making gardening easy and making it successful, making you successful mm -hmm. in the process. So we jam pack all that stuff into this little brochure. Yeah. And you have the great tip of sort of keeping it in a little shoe box or someplace in mm -hmm. the garage or the gardening shed that you can go and reference. And here's the deal, if you, if you lose it, just give us a call. Our care team down in Mobile will take care of you. Uh, yeah. they're, they're trained to answer questions about all of these plants. Yeah. And, if, and of course, if you have a problem, everything in the show today is backed by our guarantee and our warranty, which right. for perennials, it's a full year right. from which the time nice. you receive them. 90 days on the annuals. Okay, I wanna give you a quick update. First of all, these have been very, very popular. You're getting the yellow, the pink, and the orange. And tell me again, Fewer than 2,500 of these remain. Wow. And this is all we might get for the year. I'm not sure, but it's brand new today. A lot of times things like this come in kind of one and done. Maybe we'll be able to get some more, but I can't guarantee that. And it sounds like it's really simple to be able to plant these and not hard to take care of. Cause like you said, they just like drainage. That's so, right. you know, if you get, if you're watering them and it rains, no problem. If it's drained, if the soil is draining, yep. you just don't want them sitting in water, That's right. but they can take a drought. They can take the heat. They're fragrant and they resist the deer and the rabbits, but they attract the butterflies and the hummingbirds. That's right. When I was growing up in Minnesota, we loved the hummingbirds. My sure. dad had hummingbird feeders oh, yeah. at almost every window of, of the house so that no matter if we were sitting in the living room or in the kitchen or in the bedroom, you could look out a window <laughs> and see, a see the hummingbirds. And we and they would come back every single year. You know, they were like, we're going to the Larson house. <laughs> um, but anyway, so the thing is, when you've got these kinds of plants, A, you don't have to be filling the feeders. That's right. Because they're going to just They're come. doing it for you, right? That's these right. flowers are very very nectar rich. They are loaded wow. with good uh, nutrition for those hummingbirds as they as they buzz around uh, for the summer. What a great dynamic thing to be able to, to, to invite that kind of nature and life into your mm -hmm. garden and to be able to, to see that up close and personal. And you were saying these like sun. Full sun, okay. perennial, going to come back year after year. Yeah. Three outstanding wow. colors, three outstanding new varieties. Uh, we, we're really excited to be able to bring these to you here at Cottage Farms on QVC. We've got just again uh, the Paquito uh, orange there mm -hmm. on the end here in the middle that Morello this is a beautiful raspberry color my wow. personal favorite of the lot Love and then that. this Paquito butter yellow and it's so pretty and just you know I, I cannot say enough about this butter yellow that is such an amazing breakthrough color in in hummingbird mints uh, it, it is just really novel and really special 1900 sets remain brand new today and I really say you know don't be afraid to buy two sets Ex three sets um, how high and wide are these well get? so you know this this is pretty accurate here. I mean, this okay. is in that kind of two foot range tops for most of these. Yeah, and and I, I, I love what you're saying because if you think about the, the plants we've been talking about today, the alium, which I think we've got coming up, the bee balm that we're, we've, we're going to talk about, the coneflower we're going to talk yeah. about, all of these other perennials for full sun right. that support the pollinators, that flower all summer long. That's the idea, right? Let's yeah. mix and match. Let's, let's put this stuff together and knit together this really beautiful tapestry yeah. of flowering plants for Would summer. Would you put the white shasta? The daisies with these? You know, I would too. Not. No, I totally would. I, 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 you know, I, I really, know, so. all of the perennials that we've got wow. in this show today kind of fit Can that bill. They have, they have pollinator benefits. They're full sun. Yeah. They're going to come back year after year. And again, we, we sort of rag on about this for the whole season, but we really right. focus at Cottage Farms on finding varieties that do flower like that all summer long, yeah. that do just crank out the flowers and the performance because we know that's what you want. That's what the pollinators want too. And guess what? Cottage Farms has been here at QVC for I don't even know how many 19 years. years this 19 year. 19 years. They wouldn't be invited back every year if their flowers weren't doing very well. By the way, now there's fewer than 1,500 of these beautiful hummingbird mint plants left. So if you want to get those, by all 